Hi, it's Raphael from Digraph. We recently published a blog explaining how to use OpenAI API with Digraph to perform data classification based on semantic similarity. So today I'd like to share a um, Python notebook that is doing every step uh, covered in this uh, blog so you can experiment yourself on your Digraph instance. So let's start with um, a DGraph cluster that I have in uh, DGraph Cloud, and we can um, you know, get uh, everything that is needed to deploy the schema and the application. So we need basically a GraphQL endpoint. We need the gRPC endpoint, and we need an API key that I have generated. And we also need our open AI uh, key, obviously. So let's go through the Python notebook. Um, it will explain a bit what we want to achieve there. And um, first we can import all the packages. So we will use PyDGraph, which is the official Python client for DGraph, accessing the low level of DGraph query language. And we will use also a GraphQL um, Python client and we are also defining the GraphQL endpoint here that we will use and the gRPC endpoint so when it's done um, we can um, enter the uh, credentials so it will ask for your DGraph login and your open AI and your open AI API key. The script is also doing some queries to verify that all the clients can connect to the DGraph cluster. So we can connect to DGraph Cloud, we can get retrieve the health using the admin API, and we can get the DQL schema using PyDGraph uh, client. So I will also delete all the data. So just to confirm that I want to do that, it will drop the schema and we can verify here. Now the schema is empty and there is no data into my cluster. We'll then deploy the Lambda function. To do that, we need the deployment ID internally. So we just retrieve the deployment ID corresponding to my cluster and tenant. And um, this is the Lambda script. And you see that I will also um, set the OpenAI key into the script so the Lambda can do the queries against the OpenAI REST API. So the Lambda is deployed. You can also verify that into the Lambda section here. In our use case, we are also using some predicates at the DQL level. That means we are using embedding and similarity, which are not exposed as a GraphQL API, but which are used to store inf additional information on the nodes. So let's deploy this uh, schema. So now we are ready to test our application. We can add a category. We can add many categories. You can verify in Data Studio that you will see the categories there appearing in your cluster. But most importantly, I'd like to verify that the embedding has been computed correctly. So I can do a DQL query asking for the embedding uh, predicate. So we see all the categories and we'll see the embedding vector that has been computed for each of them. We can continue our test by creating some uh, projects. So you see that we create the project only with the title and we expect DGraph to find the corresponding category and uh, create a relationship between this project, the projects and the, and the categories. 
so we can just read with um, a GraphQL query here and check that categories have been affected to the different project which you can also verify by going to the project here and you see that each project has a category and photographies and memories is music and art and an acid cabinet is math and science so there is a similarity in terms of the semantic of the category and the project as expected you can explore also the information that we have associated with the project by doing a dql query so i'm looking for all the project and i'd like to see the similarity and you see that for each category we computed a similarity that we have added as a facet on a relationship similarity so that's basically it uh, going on all steps that you need to experiment in a single Python notebook which is very convenient um, just to finish I don't know if you know that but you can use um, Cytoscape in Python so I just provided a small uh, uh, script here that will transform the dgraph data into a Cytoscape data that you can display so in my case I would like to retrieve the project and, and uh, categories with the similarity relationship that I'd like to display so I can just run this one and I can see something about all the projects and you see the for example here the similarity for this project and all the categories around so you can start to play a bit with Cytoscape and experiment also with some layouts and get your data directly into your Python notebook so that's it for today I would be curious to see the notebooks that you can come up with for your experiments with DGraph thanks <laughs>